Hi, my name is Jason. Today I've got for you a Corsair 200R and my old computer, which the current parts are now in this 200R, there wasn't really too much wrong with this uh, HP, but I just wanted a, a case upgrade. However, we're going to find out why my USB 2.0 ports, or excuse me, the 3.0 ports would not work in the front. So, like I said, this was my old case. The specs on it was a uh, HP Pavilion. It's P7-1439PC. This had Windows 8. It was upgraded to 8.1. And then I upgraded to Windows 10 for free, I think back in 2015, um, when it first came out. So. Uh, like I said, there was nothing really wrong with the case other than I just wanted a new case. There's no justification really for it. But So what I did is I took all the guts out of this one and I put in this one. The only thing I didn't keep from the old case or actually on the motherboard was the Wi-Fi card. I actually upgraded. Uh, there really wasn't even anything wrong with the Wi-Fi card. Uh, but I will tell you a couple things that I found that I didn't find until I changed out, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I upgraded the Wi-Fi card to a uh, TP, so um, I just want to let you know that reason why another reason why I didn't keep the Wi-Fi card is the Wi-Fi the onboard Wi-Fi card comes with these two wires, uh, one for four or excuse me 5G and the other one for 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, you know. I don't know if they made something to put in these newer cases, but I wasn't going to go for that. So I spent, I think, uh, 30, 40 bucks on the, on the um, new Wi-Fi card, uh, which is PCIe. So I will get this out of the way, and we're gonna, I'm going to demonstrate why, or actually show you why these don't work in the front. So I've got two USB 3.0s in the front. And right now they're not even hooked up to the motherboard. The motherboard that came out of that HP is in this. But these won't work on an HP. So I plug them in, and for whatever reason, the you know the motherboard itself has got a 3.0 header on it. And the internal header for these external USB ports, they don't work. Some of you tech guys will probably already be knowing why. Um, but I had to go through the troubles of figuring out, and it took me, I think, the better part of the day to figure it out anyway. So I would plug the USB in, and it would say device not recognized, and um, I can't remember the code, but there was a code on it, just a generic code for device, device is not found. So it would recognize something was plugged in, but it didn't, it couldn't read it. So I updated the drivers, I uninstalled, reinstalled the drivers, um, and nothing seemed to work. So, come to find out, HP, okay, is proprietary for at least this board or the older boards. I don't know about the newer boards, but let me, let me show you. So actually, before I even show you that, um, no, let me show you first. So here is the old connector. Well, this is actually a connector. See, it's just a standard USB 3.0. It looks the same. It's got the same um, pin that's blocked off. Same orientation, everything. Okay. I did have an issue with one of the USB ports on the front, though. Um, the blue blue connector in there came apart and I couldn't use the lower one anymore so I lost one USB 3.0 in my old case so that was kind of another reason why I did it but this is the old one now I plugged this old one back in 
after realizing that this one wouldn't work. And guess what? This one worked again. So I thought it was strange that that was happening. But even before I tried that, what I ended up doing is ordering. I thought it was the, the front USB ports that weren't working. The reset button worked, the power button worked, the audio um, ports, they all worked. So I thought it was the, the front I.O. ports that worked. So I uh, submitted an RMA and I got a whole new I.O. front I.O. port in here. Here's the old one that came out of this. There's nothing wrong with this. After receiving it, I installed it, realized it worked. So then I went to my built PC that you've seen already that I installed a liquid cooler and, well, some of you may have seen it. And I installed this quickly, you know, just took my old one off, put this one on real quick with, a, with the case all opened up, and the ports, ports worked on this. So that, me, that led me to believe that it was proprietary. And sure enough, it is. And what I mean is that this connector and the connector for aftermarket are completely different. They look the same, but the pin layouts are completely different. They're not the same. I actually, um, I probed them uh, just to confirm everything. I mean, I kind of already knew at that point, but I probed the back of these to the front of these. I made it a schematic or a diagram, and I did the same to this, and they're, they're completely different. Even where the grounds are, so I'm actually lucky I didn't fry anything, and the USB still works. So, um, so yeah. So that is the deal with this. I'll show you real quick. I'm actually thinking about selling the components out of this because after this video, I'm gonna immediately start doing my build. I got an MSI board and a Core i5. I'm gonna be installing. And yes, this lazy Susan idea came from the idea of when I saw it on uh, Kerry Holzman's channel. So I liked it. I like the idea, especially with my other PC where it's it's got to be about 35 pounds or so. There's nothing wrong with this computer at all. It works seamlessly. seamlessly. I have it in my office right next. I got two screens. Um, this one's just for basically YouTubing, surfing the web. Um, if I'm doing something on my PC, I can download stuff even off of this. I, it works beautifully. Um, the uh, motherboard is uh, MS-7778. And um, this is got an AMD A10. Uh, 5750, no, 5700. Um, that is the chip or the uh, CPU on there. It came with 8 gigs of RAM and only two of the slots. It had an extra two, so I decided to upgrade. And I actually bought uh, a package deal, which is now uh, four, four gigabytes, which is 16 gigs total. So I have that going for me. It came with a mechanical hard drive, 15 or 1.5 terabyte. I upgraded that a um, long time ago, way before even this case. I upgraded to an SSD for the boot drive and just a, a PMY, one, 120 gig, nothing fancy, it was just for the boot. It works good, still works. And um, But I have the SSD in here for the boot, and I do have an, another mechanical hard drive in here. I don't even use it. So, and that's uh, that's the original. Uh, back in 2012 is when I bought this, for, or bought the old one um, for school use when I was back going to school. So, um, I do have an aftermarket um, uh, graphics card in there. It's only because, not because it doesn't have onboard graphics, but the onboard graphics do not supply HDMI. So I only have VGA and DVI. Um, I want the HDMI, so that's what my monitor had. So that's why I provided it. So I think I got that from Best Buy. It's nothing fancy. It was, you know, the whole computer. I mean, then back then, the computer from, I think, I believe, bought it from Office Max, and it was right around seven, eight hundred dollars um, back then for that. The power supply was upgraded on that um, to this power supply that's currently in here, 
Um, so it's not a bad, it, it's really not bad. It's it's pretty good for what it is, but I'm thinking about selling the motherboard, selling the, uh, I don't know, they're really not worth that much, but, so, anyway, um, I'll get you, since I can't really move the camera, I got these new lights, I don't have any lights behind me now, because I realized in the old video, that's now <laughs> not how I should be doing it, I need lights by the camera, so I bought, bought these funky lights by, um, or at Lowe's, and they just clamp on to the tripod and hopefully they work pretty good and um, let me just take a quick shot at the video camera that I'm recording on and the other stuff there I think it'll be kind of neat so so that's the setup right there just a GoPro It's got the extended battery on it. And I got these clamp lights that are kind of neat. They're LED. I think they're 100 lumen, if I'm not mistaken. So, yep, there's that. So, I'll put that video also. Yeah. So, you can see, I didn't even hook up the front USB ports, and they're still there. And that's about all I got to say about this. I mean, like I said, it's a it's a decent motherboard. I really, I actually really like it. Um, I, I'm just I bought this uh, this other MSI board year, a couple years ago when I was going to do my first build, and I was skeptical about buying. I bought it from um, eBay, and I spent $120 on this MSI board. That's a Z170 chipset. And for my first build, I really didn't want something to be wrong with the motherboard and it affect, catastrophically affect the CPU or RAM in any way. So I just opted not to use it. I don't know if something would happen. You know, I'm sure there's a chance for anything. So I decided just to get a whole new motherboard. And even though I spent $120 on that and I spent another, I think, 180 to 200 roughly on the board that I have in my, my build. So, um, but we're going to take a chance now. I don't, um, my other board, like I said, I had an i7 6700K. This one's uh, an i5 6600K. And I'm only going to be installing 16 gigs of RAM. Um, and it's going to replace this machine just for basic surfing and um, some mild stuff, nothing crazy. I, I'm not even going to be putting a graphics card in it, at least not anytime soon. Uh, there's really no point. So, uh, but this thing's got uh, it's got six um, SATA ports that they're all uh, SATA three ports. This thing's capable of 32 gigs of RAM, up to 32 gigs. Um, it's not bad. Uh, you can't overclock this or anything like that, but um, and you can't use the front USBs, but you can buy, you, you can do a couple of options. You can either buy a PCIe um, a card to expand some for some more 2.0, 3.0 slots, either internal or have it come out the back here. Uh, but this thing has got two, let's see, actually four USB 2.0s on the rear, and then two USB 3.0s. It's plenty for what I'm doing. So, um, but this case isn't bad. This is the first time I've really seen the uh, 200R up close. And um, it's not bad. I'll take off the other panel on the next video. Um, show them a little signs of some dust there. But, yeah, it's not bad at all. So, the optical drive works. This optical drive was the original one out of the HP. So, tell me what you guys think. Uh, and um, subscribe, please. And leave some comments. Alright, until then, peace out.